back out folks for the first wild camp of 2024 can't believe it's took nearly four months but today I'm with Kevin and Mushy right I've almost hit the the forestry line but I've lost Mushy I should pick him up at the path but I thought he might have waited but nah there's no sign of him and we're doing two big rocky fellas just off the Glen Finnan Road so yeah back in this neck of the woods I'm wondering if that is the replacement Harry Potter train it's apparently the, the proper one hasn't got central lock-in so they're not likely to use it just bureaucracy I believe We are just hand railing this little gorge and then just a little bit higher we'll pick up the ridge here Well 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 we've just had our first glimpse of the Isle of Egg and the Isle of Rum We've been going two hours now yeah. and we've still got the first top to reach and the first top isn't the summit, it's got a trig point but the true summit is just a little bit further back so aye, yeah, we're making slow but steady progress Right, we've just reached the subsidiary top there is a trig point, well there used to be but it's a bit damaged I tell you what, the views are superb, check this out Get the crampons out <laughs> Well I tell you what folks, our peak ahead is looking rather tasty It's nice and rocky and we're hoping to get pitched up somewhere on this because it's half three now so by the time we go over there it's going to be just after four o'clock and there's a big drop for tomorrow's peak so yeah get nice summit camp up here I reckon it is the final push folks no, shut up Kevin <laughs> yeah final push right up to the summit there boom Slabby mix slab face. It's got a little bit more cloudy, but to be fair, we've really been lucky because it was meant to be low cloud and drizzle. I actually thought we were doing these hills in the clag, so uh, I am not complaining. As long as the cloud stays high, that's all it matters. But uh, yeah, the Aurora Bore Ellis was out last night as well. Saw photos on Instagram, I thought typical one day later. But never mind, as long as we get the views, that's the main thing. That is us on the summit of Ben or Vic, and it's a fine viewpoint anyway. You can actually see where Stevie and I camped last year just over there and Loch Shiel stretching for miles not bad It's a long way down for this second core but we're losing a shitload of height 
<laughs> oh dear. Typical Corbett country. Well, quick update folks. We've came across this flattish area. We probably could get three tents in. So we might just stop here for the night rather than pushing on to the next Corbett. Just waiting on Kev to catch up. I heard them shouting something like, I can't be bored, we're pitching here. So, <laughs> aye, this could be it folks. We'll just have a little wander around the campsite, see what other tents are kicking around. Kevin has got his usual pyramid of doom. Pyramid of love, passion, panache. The pyramid of passion. Make sure don't trip over the guy line. Yes, you better not, Robin of Sherwood. And Mushy is rocking the Coleman's Bedrock 2. Alright, Mush? Absolutely. Here we go. We'll start a... And last but not least, I am rocking the little Vango head on 100. It is Vango's trick and pull tent made with the equivalent of 25 recycled bottles, apparently, in the fly sheet. This is a little one man effort. Kindly provided by Outdoor World Direct in return for a review. I'll do a separate review on this anyway, but I'll show you inside as well. As you can see, my Flextail Zero mattress takes up the bulk of the room. Got my quilt and my usual decathlon pillow. A little bit of space at my feet for some gear. But the vestibule is quite generous for getting stuff tucked in there. And there's a little cubby hole, if you open that up, you can get through. I'll probably stick my boots, etc. on the other side there. But yeah, it's a fantastic little tightness. It's gone half nine, I'm having a cheeky Horlicks and then I'm going to call it a night and I'll bring you guys back in the morning. Cheers. Oh, good morning campers. It's been a few months since I've last said that. Oh man. Really disappointed folks, my flex tail mat has sprung a leak, blew it up about 3-4 times during the night, just kept going back down again, really disappointed. Could have been the dog's claws last week but it seemed to be fine when I packed up in the boffy last week so I really doubt it. It's just, uh, nah I'm just disappointed. Uh, luckily it's got really good insulation so I didn't feel any cold coming through. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Breakfast is served. The other lads are up as well. And that is current scenes. The little Van Gogh tent was quite good actually, quite liked it, didn't have to put up with much, there was a very light rain shower about 2 o'clock in the morning and the, the winds totally dropped as well, so it was quite benign but yeah, first impressions, the little tent's good, easy to pitch, acceptable space for a one man tent as well, ha, <laughs> yes it's a long way down folks, there's a Bialak. Uh, right up to the summit there. <laughs> I 
We've been going one hour and a half now since striking camp and that's us just about at the summit of Ben Vic Kitty. Sounds like a biscuit. But I tell you what, that was one steep pull up. So I got an iPhone about four months ago, so I had to say goodbye to View Ranger on my old Android phone and I had to make the difficult decision on what navigation app to use. So I subscribed to OS Maps, Hiker and Outdoor Active, which is the new View Ranger. Had all three running at the same time, just with the, the trial period, and I've stuck with Hiker. I actually quite like the app, it's good. It's not quite View Ranger, but it's about the nearest thing I can find to it anyway. Alrighty, this is us heading down now. Bit of an undulating ridge, just ups and downs, ups and downs. Like a seal. I was going to say like an elegant swan, but a oh, seal works. Just down there at Loch Eelt is one of the closest boffies to the road that you can get, but there's one little stumbling block and it is the loch itself. So uh, it makes it a bit more tricky to get to. It's one I've still to visit though. And in the meantime, we are heading down here. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there's a track here which will take us back down to the railway. This would be a fantastic spot for the uh, steam train just to come along. It's not going to happen though, is it? Lollipop, lollipop, la 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 lollipop. Oh, bum, bum, bum. That is typical folks. The steam train made an appearance, but it was up higher. Couldn't see it through the trees. And then we saw the, the smoke coming out further down the line, but it was too too far gone by then. Sod's law. See if we were just five, ten minutes later, we would have got that that nice viewing point. Oh well, I'm not a train spotter, honestly. Thomas. Anyways, we're almost back at the road. Seems like a good point just to wrap this video up. So if you watch this far, thank you very much, and I'll leave some other well camping videos here you might like to watch. Otherwise, see you next one.